Hey everyone, some of the projects that I do on this channel are based on need and necessity. This Eura S9 coffee machine is no exception, commanding around $3,000 out the door. When it was new, you could still find them refurbished for around $1,500 from the factory. And this one's starting to get tired. And after a couple of years, it was supposed to go in to be serviced because it just can't be cleaned internally all the inner mechanisms aside from all of the cleaning agents you see here that I have below you see the water reservoir that I have here with an internal filter and I also fill that with filtered water so I, I try and take very good care of that we also have these cleaning tablets that we use on a regular basis that cleans out the system the mechanical parts inside that get in contact with the beans and grind the beans and press the beans down I believe that that can't be adequately cleaned through these methods and I believe over time there's an accumulation that sort of gums up the works and it becomes problematic and the machine needs to be completely disassembled all around here in order to address that and get it working like new again. None of this is explicitly mentioned in the manual. I guess the assumption was after like four or five years you would just go out and spend another couple thousand dollars on a coffee machine because you were the kind of person who would spend a couple thousand dollars on a coffee machine. So we're going to conduct a complete teardown of the unit, replace parts as necessary, clean everything up, reassemble the unit, test it, and make some coffee. Let's get started. This first video is going to deal with the opening of the machine for service. This is being done on this S9 as we see, but it also supports the multitude of S models as well as X models and XS models. So in looking at this video, you may have a different model, but this will also work for you. Just before it failed, coffee started coming out of both nozzles. I had opted to order the 32-piece repair kit or rebuild kit from Europarts. This not only comes with everything needed for a basic rebuild, but also that oval key needed to get the back cover off. If I find after the rebuild something else is broken, I'm just going to have to make another order later. We're going to pull some of the easily detachable items first, such as this bottom tray. I have a storage area for all these. We'll clean and address these later. This also includes the water reservoir. We'll notice I've moved over to a work area where I'm going to be conducting all the work for this restoration project. I'll remove the pre-ground coffee hopper. I've never actually used this before, but this will come out now. This bean covers tabs had long since broken off, so I'll just remove this and put it into storage. I still have beans in here. Before the end of this video, I'll figure out its disposition. So when I work on bikes and motorcycles, I have big bolts. It's easy to figure out their sizes and pitch with a caliper. I don't think it's going to be that easy on this machine, and there's a lot of them. So I'm going to find a strategy to keep everything in order as I disassemble this. I'm going to tape and number each one of the screws as I remove it in this video and call it out just like this. One. And that way I'm going to know not only which one went where, but in what order I had removed it. And then I could conveniently store all the screws in a sandwich bag. Starting here at the front of the machine, all the way at the bottom on the right. This is going to be number one. And we're going to use a T15 fitting on the front of a driver. We're going to pull that one out. I'll then wrap the screw in masking tape. And for all I know, all these screws could turn out to be the same size. But I'll know which screw went where and in what order. Take a Sharpie. Annotate it with the number one. Put it on a pile and move on to the next screw. This one here in the top corner is going to be number two. Again, T15. Two. Looking from overhead up top, we could see number three on the front left hand side. Three. We'll remove this one now. Four. Number five, five. will be here on the back left. And then number six here six. on the back right. Now with the small flathead, I'll get a grip on what they call a heating tray, I believe. I just call it a storage tray. And I'll lift this up and remove it. And this will now go into storage with the rest of the removed parts. Now we have three screws revealed. Starting seven. with the front is seven. Removing that now. The center screw eight. will be eight. And finally, the rear nine. screw will be nine. Ten. 
We're now looking at the right side at the bottom. This is the front of the unit. And we see two screws here at the handle. We're going to remove the front screw. Ten. That's going to be number 10. Eleven. And that second screw under the handle facing the rear. That'll be number 11. We decided to jettison these beans. We're going to remove it with the vacuum cleaner. This cover here is going to go into storage. It's a waste of beans, but I really don't have a more practical method of getting them out of the machine. And they have been sitting in here for a couple weeks already. At this point, I'll need to open up the kit to get the special tool out from your parts. And it's a kit within a kit. So there's the tool right there. So I'm going to open it up carefully. I'm not ready to use any of these parts. And I don't want them removed. I'm just after that tool. So I'll close everything up. And there it is. Just an oval bit. And this is the first time I'm swapping the T15 since the beginning of the project. Removing the first of the two rear screws that have the special head requiring a special tool to remove it. This is 12. And 13. I'll then tilt the machine forward, lift the back cover off from the bottom. It'll slide down and then I'll pull it up off of the plug, removing it. This will go with the collection of stored parts. I've annotated the bean sensor cable with the number 14, our next number, and now I'm going to disconnect that cable from the machine. Now very gently pry the top cover off till it's released, and then I will guide the bean counter cable through this hole, and once it's through, I will lift the entire top cover off. This will be stored with all of the other parts. It'll be later cleaned. I then remove this metal piece right here, just lift it right off of the chassis. I put tape around it, labeled it 15, and I'm just going to store this with the screws. Now very gently bring the front of the cabinet a little bit forward. We can see two tabs up here, so I'm going to bring this forward from the bottom and lift up, and that unseats this side panel. We can see these two tabs a little closer inspection, how they seat in here, and this front part. This now gives me an opportunity to vacuum up the rest of the beans that are stuck in the grinder that I could not reach before. The front portion is designed to swing open. We need only disconnect a few items to accomplish this. The thin hose leads up to the front. It is secured with a clip. We'll remove it with a pair of needle nose pliers. Pulling down to release the clip. Comes right out and we will label this as number 16. Put it with the screws. With the clip removed, that hose can be pulled right out of the socket, put off to the side. Now we see that it is this top hose that obstructs. There's a T-fitting here in the middle. This T-fitting can be lifted off like so. The forward hose can be gently pulled out of the T-fitting. And I've labeled this disconnection as 17. Put it right here on the T-fitting. Snap that back into place. Cover moves out a little bit further, leaving us with one more hose right over here. So I'll give it a couple of twists back and forth to loosen it, and then I'll just disconnect it right off of this valve. Comes off with no problem. I've annotated this connection as 18. At this point, the front door can be completely opened for service. And that ends this portion of the project, which is opening up the coffee machine for service. We got all the panels off, as you see, and now from the top, we're able to access the grinder portion of the machine, and that's going to be in a future chapter of this restoration. Also, we have access here to the bolt carrier group that we're going to take out and completely restore as a separate chapter. And then the front area that also needs some work and cleaning over here, as well as this part that I believe is suspect that's causing coffee to come out all areas at the same time. But that's the end of this video. I hope you found it enjoyable and entertaining and informative. Do me a favor, hit that like button down below. Helps me out a lot when you do. And hit that subscribe button for more videos like this when they come out. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Would you like to reply?